What's going on everybody? Brian Mann here, Hands-On Auto Training. Today is uh, April 21st, 2022, guys. What a day. We got good th stuff going on. Premium members, we have our membership meeting tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm pumped up to, uh, we're going to go over a couple case studies, and we're going to also be playing with the Fi Tools CAN bus uh, data logger, messing around with that. We got a couple experiments to do. Uh, guys, lots of stuff been going on. If you're not signed up for the core premium memberships, be sure to sign up by tonight so you can be entered into tomorrow's drawing. We're going to give away the AES Wave U Test League kit. Uh, we got two more of these giveaway. One's going to be tomorrow evening, uh, tomorrow afternoon or evening. I'm going to go ahead and get that together. Um, guys, I want to share with you some of the comments that we're getting on the, uh, YouTube here. This is some good stuff, and I enjoy the comments and feedback that you guys uh, put into, you know, just uh, watching the videos and let me know what you're thinking. I think that's really cool stuff. So let's go ahead and read a few of these things and uh, talk about them. Zoom Automotive says they do it every day and it fascinates uh, him to, or them to see other people's processes and procedures. And uh, guys, one of the things I got to tell you is that's a fact. If you see my comment there, I'm talking back and I'm just saying that it is so true that we learn so much um, by watching other people. I mean, I learn everything, you know, everything I've known or learned has pretty much been taught to me. I mean, a few things I've kind of picked up or I've done it the hard way and I learned myself, but for the most part, everything we learn has been taught to us. So, you know, we just keep on learning and trying. And one of the things I say in this comment back is make sure that you take the time to try and explain your thought process to somebody else. You'll learn so much uh, so much about uh, what's going on there. Um, I had a lot of comments on the Ford uh, Part 2, Ford Transit Part 2. We had a lot of people asking different questions about all kinds of stuff. And yes, I did do a battery disconnect, uh, what do you call it, a hard reset. Uh, we did do that, and it seemed like it uh, didn't make any difference. This was on both vehicles. And in fact, the shops all the time are unplugging the battery and just letting it sit disconnected overnight. And I jumper the battery terminals together. That didn't make any change whatsoever what was going on. Um, let's see, we got a lot of other comments. <laughs> what a mess. Um, and a lot of comments on this uh, this here, the, the, the Chevy Cruze, the 2014 Chevy Cruze. That was a uh, no communication uh, video with that uh, Cruze. Be sure to check that out. It was really good stuff right here. Someone did post a question about separating the network there. And guys, you got to divide and conquer those CAN buses. Anytime we have the uh, layout like a GM does, you can divide that network and test both ways. That's kind of what I did there. And I did have uh, 60 ohms. Actually, I tested another uh, Chevy Cruze. The link to that uh, is a real quick video in the description here. I tested that Chevy Cruze and it did have uh, 60 ohms at the DLC with no problem. So guys, I do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. I'm seeing if I had any other uh, big comments that I wanted to talk about um, and here is that link to that video here about the uh, they're asking a question about the uh, CAN bus and whatnot so it is definitely 60 ohms on that when we're testing at the DLC and there's no problem so uh, lots of good stuff guys I do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and I just wanted to remind you all that we do have that membership meeting tonight 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I hope everybody's doing good uh, drop me a line let me know what's going on we'll see you guys later bye bye